When I was pregnant, my biggest fear was going into labor on New Year's Eve, but I couldn't imagine that it would actually happen. I'm Becky. I am mom of two boys. My first is Aby, and he is three years old. And this is Ezra, my New Year's Day baby. I was due with Ezra on January 8th. My first was a week early, so I was kind of expecting the second one to come a week early too, which meant that I might go into labor on New Year's Eve, and that, that was really scary to me because I live in New York City, which everybody knows is the center of the universe on New Year's Eve. Around 11 o'clock that night on December 31st, that's when um, things started to get pretty intense and I knew that labor was on its way. My hospital is only about 10 or 13 miles away from where I live. Anywhere else, that's not a big deal, but in New York City, that can take forever, and especially in New York City on New Year's Eve. We live in Brooklyn, in a fourth floor walk up, so first we had to climb down four flights of stairs. We had to go across the street to find a cab. The cab drove through the streets of Brooklyn, over the Brooklyn Bridge, into Manhattan, across Lower Manhattan, up the West Side Highway, and that's where things started to get a little crazy. We actually probably got to Midtown Manhattan at about 20 after 12. So literally 20 minutes after the ball dropped, people were streaming up from Times Square, up 7th Avenue, up Broadway, all these streets that I was passing by in my cab. I was in labor pains looking out the window. There was tons of crowds, a lot of cars, a lot of cabs. Everybody's trying to get someplace. Even though I was in labor, it was really exciting to see. Obviously, I hadn't gotten to watch the ball drop or, or really celebrate the New Year since we were in the cab when it happened, but we were having our own little celebration. Fortunately, the scariest part was getting to the hospital, and everything after that was a breeze. It was my second delivery, um, and I had, I had a pretty easy first delivery, and so it was actually easy the second time too, which was really fortunate. When we got to the hospital, we still had the chance of him being the first baby, not born in the city, but born in the hospital on New Year's Day. But by the time he was born at 7.13, he was actually baby number three. Very, very hot. Very hot. He's, he's lived up to his exciting entry into the world, and we feel lucky that we'll always remember his birthday. <laughs>